Ultra Lone Peak 7, first look. Good evening, everybody. If you want to see me talk about the brand new Ultra Lone Peak 7s, 7s, that's how many championships Michael Jordan would have had if he, if he would have stayed after that 98 win. But Ultra 7, um, went to REI today. Let's get both of these out. Went to REI today and I saw this colorway. Honestly, I didn't even really need new shoes, but I saw the colorway and I knew I had to put some miles on the new Ultras. I will compare them to the older Ultras, like the 3.5s and uh, another pair that I have over here. But first impressions here, what I'm seeing is you get the seamless upper, which I do like. I feel like this might last better uh, hiking wise. I'm not seeing any drainage holes over here, but they did improve this area here. There's a mesh which should air out your foot from the top, getting all that water hopefully out. And it is on both sides. If you look inside, there's a mesh and hopefully this evaporates and uh, makes it a little more breathable. Um, as you hike, this is where the heat will come out. Hopefully that that's what uh, I'm hoping it does. I'm looking at the sole of the shoe and so far I would say I'm pretty impressed. All right. What I'm seeing here is these lugs, they're very similar to what the Lone Peak 5s um, kind of has. You got these up and down lugs, but they improved this area here. Okay, this little flat spot that you could possibly slip on. There's more lugs over here. Okay, uh, sorry about these shoes being dirty. I use them quite often, the other ones, but... Another thing I'm noticing is this part right here on the downhills, on the descents, this right here will definitely help you uh, have control and it should make the sole last longer. Same thing with this part here. You know, when this area gets worn out, you have a little more control on the trail. All right. So let's check out the insole as I haven't looked at it yet so this is the insole so far so good well, let's check out the insole in the fives all right from what i'm seeing i think they didn't really upgrade the insole at all it looks exactly the same um i was hoping they would make it a little bit of a sturdier material but that's not something to complain about you can also customize and get a go to rei and get something that's a little um a little longer lasting if you wanted to but i have put you know five 500 plus miles on these insoles and i haven't had a problem all right so this is an 11 and a half shoe and you are able to get these in a wide if needed i'm going to show you how much room I like having um, by taking out the insole and putting the insole down and stepping on it. So for me personally, when I when I have the shoe on, I like to have about a thumb's width of uh, room in, in front. When I'm going downhill, I like having a little bit of space. So the 11 and a half, I would say these run true to size. Um, Ultra did good with that. They didn't screw us over. Thank you, Ultra. They say these are 11 ounces, which is, uh, the 314 grams on their website. But, uh, these actually came out to be 11.4, 11.5, and this is a size 11 and a half. So obviously they're going to vary depending on your size. And, uh, this is, you got the midsole, Ultra Ergo midsole. Um, you still have that max track outsole. You have the uh, cushion, uh, moderate cushion here. Nothing, you know, not like a Hoka. But at the same time, when you're out there hiking, you don't want to be too soft. You don't want to be elevated from those roots. You want to keep yourself grounded. You want to keep yourself, uh, you want to feel the trail, as I would say. 
Uh, stack height is 25 millimeters, which is good. You got the zero drop, of course. You want that zero drop if you're used to it. If you're not used to it, um, take these out. Get used to the zero drop. You might like it, um, depending on your feet and uh, what kind of hiking you do. And then the upper, they say this is the quick dry air mesh. I'm hoping if you guys are out there taking these on the Appalachian Trail where there's a lot of roots and rocks and all that stuff, I'm hoping this part here does not um, get damaged quickly. Um, another thing I noticed is this plastic um, material going around the heel. And I think um, this is a stabilizer. It will stabilize your heel in there and make the shoe feel um you're going to feel more stabilized in there as you can see the other ultras um your foot would move around a little bit too much it wasn't as um stable which is good too i mean it just depends on um like these ultras here the lone peak 3.5s the material was a little more firm here see and this one here the material is more wishy-washy and you got this firm thicker material and um you know this stabilizer here it feels more firm than here and then this feels really like kind of like your foot's not gonna be secure so i do like that so far i haven't tried the shoes out yet but i feel like that's gonna be a big plus these were my favorite ultras if you can find these ultra they do run these did run a little bit small um, I think I had to have like a 12 in these. So if you are able to find the Ultras um, 3.5s, I think. These were probably my favorite shoes. Yep, the 3.5s. And uh, these are just classic. But uh, yeah, I'm I'm just stoked to try these out. What's up, Julie? Oh, sorry, I didn't do it for you. I'm doing a video. Oh, okay. All right, Julie is in our video. If you heard her, um, she's trying to get me off track here. Um, but yeah, so let's see one, another thing I noticed here. So you still have that Velcro, um, back here. If you guys wear gaiters, dirty girl gaiters or ultra gaiters, this will keep all the stuff out of your, it won't go into your foot. I used them before. I don't really use them anymore. Um, but if I would be on a sandy trail, I think a gaiter would be a must have. It would definitely help you out. Um, Price-wise, the cost of these shoes was $150. I did buy them at REI, giving me dividends. So the price went up a little bit. I think the older ones, the sixes, were $140. But that's okay um, because if you buy these at REI, you get a dividend. So technically the price, um, yeah, it's not that bad, I think. They're completely affordable. Uh, with the recession, everything is going up and obviously shoes are gonna go up so it's just part of life all right guys let's finish up the video a few things so far from what i'm seeing i don't necessarily love about this shoe is the drainage holes have disappeared no more drainage holes again as we talked about the mesh here will it air out when you're on the trail when you're on the at and it's raining for four days will the shoe air out or is this going to be a point where you're going to have to go and look for the older ultras that have these drainage holes we don't know that yet um that's something we need to test out and obviously i'm looking forward to taking these um on some river crossings on muddy trail days on rainy days and really testing them out getting a feel for how the shoe works, seeing if I like this new little thing here, um, seeing if they actually will air out or is the water and the moisture gonna stay in here because these had drainage holes, okay? The new shoelace system, there's like a little different way of uh, it being tightened over here. The older Ultras were slightly different. So you could really make the shoe wider. Um, I'm not exactly sure how this will affect it but you play around with different uh, shoelacing styles and maybe this will be an improvement so we have yet to see um the colorway of the shoe i feel like so far like especially this color the purple and green it's just so out there it's like a 
alien kind of green and purple color just crazy colorway um something that ultra um i mean they've had some you know crazy looking shoes before but i'm really digging this colorway um the other one is they have like that ronald mcdonald red and uh, yellow which is kind of interesting too so when you're out there on trail bringing some color to the trail really cool colorway really that kind of retro-ish style and um i hope you guys try these out again 150 bucks um i think it's worth it but we'll have to wait and see uh hope you guys enjoyed this ultra lone peak 7 unboxing if you did give it a thumbs up uh check out my other videos if you'd like and uh let me know what kind of videos you want to see on this channel as uh, i don't have a ton of ideas right now hoping to go on some hikes here soon and um yeah i'll see you guys on the trail wishing you a happy new year and happy trails everybody all right little bonus moment here again once i try these out i will probably put out another video so feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet and i will see you down the trail